Morning guys, it's about 6 a.m. It's gonna be nice out today, so I got a project I wanna work on, but before we do that, we got quite a few things to unbox, so let's get started on that. All right guys, got a few things to open. Let's start with the big one. This is from Amazon. As always, I'll leave links in the description so you guys can try and find or source the same thing I'm getting. You guys know what that stuff is? It is Wireloom. 25 foot rolls of it's actually the flame retardant wire loom and it's inch and a half. So inch and a half wire loom. Set that aside. I also got something earlier this week, uh, these inch and a half stainless steel straps with the rubber lining. This is just to uh, kind of show you guys, if you search on eBay, you can find what you're looking for if you take the time. And as some of you may have noticed in my last video with the door handles, um, they're kind of hard to find, but they're not impossible to find. In fact, I found one it's a used one, but it's still in good shape. I found one from a, uh, oh, I don't know what, what you call it, uh, dismantler or reseller or whatever. This was 10 bucks shipped. And this is the exact same version I installed on my truck. Uh, it's in working condition. It's a little dirty, but aside from that, you know, everything works. It's got a, a locking mechanism on it and everything, and it uses the same key that uh, the ones I installed do. So, there you go. That just goes to show you, if you look around on eBay, you'll find what you're looking for. And once again, this was 10 bucks ship. I think we'll start in the battery box and see how far we get. Alright guys, so what I want to do is basically go through here and clean this up. This is a mess that drives me nuts. Needs to be done and this was a temporary setup so I need to go back through here and uh, clean this entire mess up and get it looking proper. And then we'll see if we can get up to the uh, little um, battery uh, polarity thing behind the spare tire. Get that replaced with some terminals. And then maybe, if there's enough time today, get into the shelter and uh, get a home run going into the shelter and get that replaced. And then uh, the two wires that go up to the alternator, get that replaced as well. Thank you. 
All right, I got that stupid polarity thing out of there. Um, now all I gotta do is get these wires traced out to the alternator, make up some cables for that, get those put in that nice uh, fire resistant uh, wire loom and get some uh, junction blocks in here. So let's get working on that. Well guys, I got a uh, lot done today, but it took a long time. It's very tedious and time consuming work. I got two out wire, brand new welding cable, ran from the alternator to a junction block that I made up. And I got rid of that uh, polarity doohickey thing. And uh, Go in the shelter here. Let me show you the battery box first. It's 
So I'll try to include a before and after picture here at the end of the video or at some point in the video. But um, that that stuff was bothering me big time. So I went ahead and remade all this. And everything from the junction block is new wiring. And, and this is a uh, precursor to uh, an upcoming modification that's coming up. I'm sure you guys can figure out what it is and why I use welding cable, if you think about it. We'll go in the shelter here. I still have one 200 amp breaker left. That'll give you a hint as to what it's for. But I got my 24 volt on the right and my 12 volt on the left. And I uh, made everything back up. And everything's looking good. I put the battery tender in here instead of having it out in the battery box. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty stoked that I got all of this done in a day. It's kind of overwhelming trying to get everything at once, but I did it and uh, now I get to go in for the rest of the evening and edit some video, so. I did voltage tests on everything, all the connections. Um, everything should be back where it's supposed to be. I guess the only thing left to do to see if it's the, uh, everything is where it should be is to do the smoke test which is by starting it up and seeing if anything goes haywire so here we go seems pretty normal I'll have to do some voltage testing No smoke. Oh yeah, my stupid bracket on my voltage regulator broke when I was working on this, so I had to put a hose clamp on it. I'll have to figure out an alternate way to mount that at some point. Something I also did is move the wires around, so look at all that clearance now. guys I think that's gonna be it for today's episode if you like this and you learned something give me a thumbs up hit like and if you're not subscribed yet I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel I try to make it entertaining for you guys and uh, educational so I hope you learned something today but other than that Take care and I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.